Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to have a small discussion on an introduction to power electronics. Power electronics combines power, electronics and control. Control deals with the steady state and dynamic characteristics of closed loop systems. Power deals with the static and rotating power equipment for the generation, transmission and distribution of electric power. And finally, electronics deals with the solid state devices and circuits for signal processing to meet the desired control objectives. Therefore, power electronics may be defined as an application of solid state electronics for the control and conversion of electric power. Power electronics is based primarily on the switching of power semiconductor devices. With the development of power semiconductor technology, the power handling capabilities and the switching speed of the power devices have improved tremendously. The development of microprocessor or microcontroller technology has a great impact on the control and synthesizing the control strategy for power semiconductor devices. Power electronics have already found an important place in modern technology and are now used in a great variety of high power products including heat controls, light controls, motor controls, power supplies, vehicle propulsion systems and high voltage direct current HVDC as we have commonly call it as systems. It is difficult to draw the boundaries for the applications of power electronics, especially with the present trends in the development of power set devices and microprocessors, the upper limit is undefined. Now, let us have a small look at the brief history of power electronics. The first power electronic device developed was the mercury arc rectifier during the year 1900. Then the other power devices like metal tank rectifier, grid controlled vacuum tube rectifier, ignitron, phanotron, thyatron and magnetic amplifier were developed and used gradually for power control applications until 1950. The first SCR or thyristor was invented and developed by Bell Labs in 1956 which was the first PNPN triggering transistor. The second electronic revolution began in the year 1958 with the development of the commercial grade thyristor by the General Electric Company. Thus, the new era of power electronics was born. After that, many different types of power semiconductor devices and power conversion techniques have been introduced. The power electronic revolution is giving us ability to convert, shape and control large amounts of power. There are boundless applications for power electronics. We have listed a few just for your uh, reference. For example, in commercial applications, power electronics is used in heating systems, ventilating, air conditioner, centralized refrigeration, uh, UPS and so on. So, in domestic applications, you have cooking equipments, lighting, heating, air conditioners, refrigerators and features once again. Again, in the industrial applications, we have pumps, compressors, blowers and fans, machine tools, etc, etc. In the aerospace applications, we have the space shuttle power supply systems, satellite power supply systems, the aircraft power supply systems. In the telecommunication, we have the battery chargers, power supplies, mobile cell phone battery chargers. And finally, in the transportation, we have the traction control of electrical vehicles, battery chargers for electric vehicles, electric locomotives and etc.